Now today's video is so critical for those of you guys that want to learn how to automate backtesting, see what the last 100 trades looked like for a result with my free indicator that's available for the public. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. So let's jump directly on the charts and get in this thing. All right, guys, so now that we're here, this is a big time video and this is such a critical video because it's like everything we've talked about comes together. Without understanding how to do what we're gonna talk about today, you're not gonna be able to know whether or not the settings that you're using are actually going to give you long-term profit if you were to copy every single trade. Now, obviously, this is an indicator. This is something that doesn't enter for you. It's not a robot. It's not something that automates your entry strategy. But with proper back testing, you're going to be able to figure out whether or not you should enter a trade or not. So the precursor to this video is, of course, having the, the indicator itself. If you don't have the indicator, you can go down below in the description. You can fill out that form. You can get access to it. Also in the description is a, is a link to a playlist with all of my tutorial videos. You need to go watch that because it'll help you understand the indicator even better. Uh, it should be, you know, five or six by the time of this video, 15-ish minute uh, videos to really bring you up to speed on how to download it, how to access it, how it works, why it works, all that sort of stuff. So now that you have it downloaded, I assume that you've got the standard settings, zero buffer. I assume you've got these standard settings set up. You got everything ready to go. We're gonna talk about how to back test this thing. So. First things first, in order to have a proper back test, the first thing you want to do is load it up on your chart and click the like button. You knew it was coming. Come on, guys. You're starting to have trouble. Really? One of the best free indicators on the market. I haven't found one that's better, actually. And you guys can't even get this thing to 200 likes for me pumping out content and giving you guys insightful reviews on how to do things better. Can you get this thing to 200 likes? And secondly, can you guys comment down below something that you love about the indicator? Please comment down below just one thing that you love about the indicator to let the rest know. And also comment down below after this video is over, after you start to get good settings, what those settings are. Share that with the public. Sharing is caring. So. With the precursor out of the way, let's jump into it. First things first, you're gonna go down here to Strategy Tester. Now, when you go down here to Strategy Tester, we have a lot to talk about. First thing I want you to understand is that this indicator is not built to assess equity positions, spreads, things like that. So the back test in terms of profits and drawdown, that sort of stuff, literally doesn't exist. Like, I wish this didn't exist. I wish I could take it off because it doesn't matter. When you come down into the settings, you can go to properties and you can see you can change initial capital, you can change contracts. This doesn't matter because percent of equity at 2%, you might think, oh, that's risking 2%. Not really. That doesn't work. It, it just doesn't work. And so that's what I want to talk about first as a precursor is that just leave it on contracts, leave it on one. It's probably standard on like a million dollars or something. Just leave it. None of that matters. You don't care about net profit. You don't care about drawdown. All you care about is percent profitable and profit factor. That is it. Now, our goal in today's video is simply to learn how to back test and then start to play with some settings. Your goal, your homework is then going out there and playing with those settings and coming back to us. We're a big team coming back and saying, Wow, I found the settings for gold and it's this, 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 and this. Try it, guys. It was on the Oanda feed or whatever feed it was on. And we all try it and we see the result. And now we want to utilize that in our real market conditions. That's the goal. We're one team. I know that sometimes it's going to lose. That's not, the, that's not the point. The point is building out a list of trades that win. So like saying gold wins on these settings, great. And Aussie Yen wins on these settings, great. And then going down, hey, this one doesn't win. Don't even use it. And starting to build that portfolio. So let's talk about it today. First things first, what is a profit factor? This is the amount of money the strategy made for every unit of money it lost. Gross profit divided by gro uh, gross losses. So this is important because it's saying for every dollar you put in, how much did you get back out? In this, sen in this sense, for every dollar you put in, you get $1.80 out. Okay. So your goal is to get a profit factor above a two, if you can. Your goal to get a percent profitable necessarily doesn't matter, but if you can get that above 40%, that's gonna be phenomenal. 
And then if you can get the total closed trades above 100, that'll be phenomenal. So you guys, first of all, can change the settings. So the first thing we could do is we can come up to inputs and let's just say we wanna change, we don't wanna to go to break even anymore. Let's just change that setting. Now watch this, look at these numbers, watch this. Click and hit okay. Notice the profit factor dropped from 1.8 to 1.5 and the percent profitable went up to 37. So we make less money, but we're more accurate. And this is one of the myths in trading that more accurate means more profitable. Well, what's the risk to reward ratio? So you can see that there. Let's go back into our settings. Let's turn break even back on. Now let's say one to three, click okay. At a one to three, our profit factor stayed about the same, but look at our percent profitable, went down again. Now the point of today's video is not unveiling the super secret numbers. Listen to me, it's not unveiling those numbers, but maybe if we hit 200 likes, we'll start to unveil the super secret settings that are chef's kiss, making money. Maybe, just maybe, 200 likes for that. But what we're doing right now is learning how to change the settings. Let's go back, watch this. Change that and let's switch this to one to one. When you switch that to a one to one, now you're 58% accurate and you're almost to a two. See, now we're talking. So now if we're at a one to one on gold, now you can start to mess with, maybe you want it to be a little more aggressive. Make this 65, make this 35. When you do that, it drops to a 148. You see, okay, that didn't work. But notice you're getting 47 trades now. Now your goal is to get this above two, this above 40, and once you do that, then I'll talk about getting this to 100, but that's not there yet. So let's keep tweaking this. Let's go back, let's do 72, 28, okay? Look at that. See that? 68% accurate, three profit factor on 22 trades. So now's where we're gonna start to instill our deep back testing. Now deep back testing is a different back testing method and it's only available for those of us that have the highest paid account on TradingView. Now I'm not, I'm not a um, affiliate of TradingView by any, by any stretch. I should be, it says referred friends zero, so I can prove to you guys that I've never referred a friend. I should probably do that, but I can prove to you guys that literally this is not about referring people to TradingView, referred zero. And now when I go to deep back testing, here's what I can do. I can change the settings. So I could go back to say, I don't know, let's call it August of 2021. And then I could hit generate report. Now what it'll do is it'll automatically spit out how many trades I took on these settings, what the profit factor was, what the percent was. Now, the reason you're trying to get above a one to, or uh, I'm sorry, a two profit factor and above 40% is because as you expand your test to 100 trades, it'll automatically drop. You're going to be making money on a profit factor of 145. When it's above one, you're making money, but the goal is to get it above two on that precursor. So I gotta keep expanding this test because I wanna get to 100 trades. So now let's go back to August 1st of 2020, generate report. Now we're at 70 trades, 141, you can see Look at this curve, it's making money, making money. I like that. Now I can go back to 2019. Change a market, right? Different market then. One, two, six, 100 trades exactly. That's where you wanna be. Now I'm not saying these are the results you want. This is where you wanna be. You wanna be at 100 trades. You wanna be at above 40% uh, profitable. You wanna to try to get above a two in terms of profit factor. So now, once I get to this area where I see that 100 trades, or maybe it's 98, 102, like you get the gist. We're trying to get around 100 trades. Now I can come back to the settings. And now I say, okay, what would it have been at a one to two? Generate that report. At a one to two, we would have barely broken even. Would have made 95 trades, you can see that. Okay, let's go back to a one to one but let's change this from an 800 to a 600 and this one to a 400. 
Click OK, generate report. There we go. 1.28 on 122 trades, 55%. Okay, maybe let's change that a little bit more. Let's do this one to 200 and this one to 400. Generate report. Now it's getting higher, 1.38. Look at that, really good in recent times. 113 trades, 56%. And now we're growing. So you guys can now get the drift. Let's do it again. I don't know if you guys get entertainment out of me doing this. Let's switch to Aussie Yen. No rhyme or reason to do that, by the way. And what I want to do is I want to get the settings. Um, Ah, oh, we could leave them here. Let's leave them here. Let's just see how it does. Generate report. 1.15 on 101 trades, 51%. Eh, pretty good, but not the best. So let's now change this. Let's go to a one to two risk road ratio, first of all, and let's just see how that plays out. 1.2, 36% accurate. Okay, not as accurate as we like, but decent. Now let's move to break even, hit okay. Generate report. 27% accurate, 1.32. You can see the break even makes it seem like it's less accurate, but it's actually helping the profitability. All right, now let's go to 70, 30. Okay, now let's also, in a minute, let's, let's generate that report. Well, we'll do it at 70, 30, one, three. Now let's go 200, 800. More of a standard setting here on the EMAs. Eh, that didn't help. Let's go, let's go 200, 100. Generate report. Eh, it's okay, not the best. So you guys can start to see how to mess around with it. Now there's really no rhyme or reason, but you guys are gonna start to find trends. You're gonna say, okay, the algorithm likes this or that. Again, the point is not looking at net profit because the contract thing is weird. Drawdown doesn't matter. Average trade doesn't matter. Average bar, that, none of that matters. What matters is ding, ding, ding. Total closed trades, percent profitable, profit factor. And you're gonna be able to start to see this across the board. Like we could go to SPX and you could start to generate results on SPX if you really wanted to. You could be like, whoa. So this is the first time I've shown you what it looks like to see a loser. Without question, you literally wouldn't do this. You just wouldn't trade this. This is a guaranteed way to make, to lose money, okay? If I went to uh, reset settings, this is back to default settings now on the algorithm. You can see it's defaults about break even. 0.91 is almost a break even. So in that case, break even's better. I could then mess with maybe moving this to a three, moving break even at 0.5. I mean, you guys can mess with this all day long, but I'm glad you guys now know how to mess with it. You can see a profit factor now, we're actually positive. Again, most of you are gonna be dealing with non-deep back test. For those of you guys that are trying to take this to the next level, you can turn on deep back test because you of course have a higher tiered package on TradingView. Again, if you don't believe me, I don't refer people to TradingView, I literally don't. This is just simply what I'm using to back test. I'm not saying it's the best thing, it's just it is what it is. Now remember, you guys can also come on to your Bitcoin, come on to your cryptos. So I've got a crypto list here. Let's go to Doge. Remember Doge, remember those trends? Oh gosh, he's dancing. So come over here on Doge. You can see it just simply is not, it's not rolling trades on Doge. It doesn't like it. But Look at this, Adam has a 2.9 profit factor, 57% accurate on the last seven trades. That's good, but we gotta see. Let's do a deep back test. Let's run a report. Okay, 49 trades, one six. Okay, this is potentially enticing. Let's roll the clock back a little bit. No rhyme or reason to this, by the way. Just rolling it back some time. 72 trades, about break even. So the longer it went, but you can also start to notice trends, like it started to win back into here. So it's like, wait a minute, is it because of COVID? Did the market shift, did things change? You could start to pick up on this and we can really just start to generate these deep back tests on all markets. It's gonna work better, doesn't work on that one, you can see that. It's gonna work better on some markets than others. Let's go to Ethereum. 
Ethereum's a 1.8. Let's generate all the way to the beginning on Ethereum. And that means that if you had been trading this on the beginning of Ethereum, you'd had great success. And then look what happened. Well, this is really cool to see because when you look at this and you can go to list of trades if you want, you can say, what happened around here? 160, it stopped working. Well, go to the list of trades, go to trade number, scroll down to 160 and you'll say, huh, what happened around here? What happened around 160? Ah, it's not gonna show me, I wish it would've. There is some limitations to this, by the way. It's not gonna show me that, but the point is, you can download CSV files. So I could grab this CSV. Uh, let, me, let me grab a new Google Sheet. Let me open what I just downloaded on the computer. Or up, I gotta upload it. Open that. Give it a minute. And so now again, we can go find trade 160. There's some limitations on trading view, but once you download it, you can see it. And you can say around June of 2021, the thing started losing money. Well, the market trends changed on crypto around June of 2021, or this happened or that, happened. you can start to look at what happened around that time. And then you'll start to notice that there's gonna be times where you're gonna notice strategies are really bad in the past and then really good in the last two years. And your point is you're trying to find strategies that are hot now, but have enough of a backing and enough of a track record to start to look at it. So I hope that this video has been insightful, informing you on what's going on. What I want you guys to do, please, is start to comment down below your settings, start to mess with this. Guys, we're one team, one dream. We're trying to make money. And the better we do this, the better results everybody's gonna have. And that's what this is all about. So again, in the description below, there's a playlist to uh, all the videos we're creating about this indicator. There's a link to get access. You gotta apply, I add you by manual, or it's a manual edition. It will take a few days. And then, um, as you guys know, if you hit 200 likes, we might have a little something, something coming for you in the next video. So hopefully you guys can get that. We'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you so much. Bye-bye.